Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we're going to split wire a receptacle. Uh, for the purpose, in this case, uh, we're on the end of a peninsula, and I have two separate circuits coming into this box so that each plug will be on a separate circuit. So if you had two things plugged in, it will uh, be less likely to trip. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, break this little, these little tabs off. There's a little tab, as you can see, right between the two halves of this receptacle. So there's a tab there, and a tab there, and so we should be able to just take these with a needle nose and break those tabs off. So here we are, get a hold of this tab, and go ahead and take the receptacle, and we're just going to bend it back and forth until it gives up. So now that is uh, officially divided there. Now we'll do the same thing on the hot side, so that's a neutral prong, obviously. Just going to bend this back and forth. And there we have the other side. Oh, not quite. Almost. There it is. So, uh, now this uh, receptacle is officially ready to be split wired. So, we want to make sure that our line voltage and our neutral stay on the top half. And uh, vice, and then the same thing on the bottom. That the circuits are separated. You wouldn't want to get the neutrals confused between the two sides. The grounds are going to both hook to the same terminal, but you can't put two under one uh, under one screw. So right back in here, you can see that the this box is grounded because it's a metal box. And then the ground wires come into this wire nut here. And then I have a second uh, pigtail for the ground that will connect onto here. And we're going to keep the, the neutral wires up, in this case, because it's uh, being installed sideways, uh, rather than this way. This way is really not your preferred way for installing a receptacle, because you have these hot prongs uh, on top, and if the plug starts to come out, it's a little bit more hazardous, so this is the way you definitely want to put it in if you're doing it sideways. So now we're going to go ahead and connect these, making sure that we keep each one of our separate uh, circuits on one plug or the other, so we'll uh, see how this goes. A lot of wires crowd into this little box. Now always make sure that you uh, tighten, when you tighten your screw down, that you're tightening it in the, in the direction of the, the wire bent around. You need to bend the wire around in the direction that you tighten the screw, so that as you tighten this, it uh, also pulls the wire around the screw rather than loosening it. There we go. We'll do the same thing to the hots on the bottom. Now we'll get our ground wire connected here. Hook that up. Now I use an insulated ground wire so there's less chance of something shorting out as I push it back into the box. And also on a, on a 20 amp circuit, you do not have to use 12 gauge uh, ground wire. So for your pigtails, uh, for your grounds, you can use insulated 14 gauge wire instead of a uh, 12 gauge bare wire, which is a pain to work with. So now we've got this uh, pretty close to being ready to push in. All right, now <laughs> get your uh, wires pushed in here. This is really tricky. There's, there's not a lot of room here to make this happen, uh, but it's gonna work fine. Uh, you wanna make sure you push it all the way into where it's gonna be anchored before you use the screws. You don't want to use the screws themselves to pull the the receptacle in. Uh, but we've got the split wired here now, so we'll finish getting it installed in the box, and then we'll turn them on and make sure that everything's working. So we've got it installed and all leveled up here now. We'll turn the power on. Number 28 and 30. On, on. Nothing tripped, so that's a good sign. All right, we got the vacuum cleaner uh, here. So hopefully if we plug it into either one of these, it should turn on. We'll find out. That one works. And that one works. We're on two separate circuits. So we have successfully wired a split wired outlet. Now you could also do this, uh, the other situations where you would do a split wired outlet is uh, if you had uh, one of the outlets being on a switch and the other one had continuous power, that's a common use for a split wired receptacle. But anyway, uh, that's how you do it. And uh, yeah, 
I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please rate it up and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. Hit that little bell icon and you'll be notified uh, when I do upload a video. Uh, so yeah, thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you in the next video.